Hello, I am again here with you to discuss some more literary terms. As you know, earlier we are uh, we were discuss uh, discussing uh, some um, so many literary terms like sonnets, uh, like uh, monologues and uh, dramatic monologues, etc. Today we are talking about or discussing about metaphor. One more literary terms. A uh, metaphor is figure of a speech that compares two different things by saying that uh, one thing is to uh, is the other the comparison is a metaphor can be stated explicitly as in the sentence love is a better field metal field again i repeat love is a battle field other times the writer may uh, make this uh, equation between two things uh, implicitly as in he was wounded by love the compar uh, comparisons created by metaphor are not meant to be taken literally rather metaphors are figurative they create meaning beyond the uh, literal meaning of their words for instance these examples are of course not saying that uh, there is actually uh, not a physical injury from love instead they uh, they capture uh, how love can be uh, painful a struggle even a uh, showdown between opponents and as many good metaphors do uh, through their comparison they make description more vivid more relatable or reveal new way of seeing the world metaphor are used in poetry literature and any times someone uh, wants to add some color to their language if we try to summarize the definition of a metaphor we can do this as follows a metaphor is a figure of speech that describes an object or action in a way that is not literally true but helps expl explain an idea or make companion here here are the basics uh, which describe more the metaphor uh, metaphors number 1 a metaphor states that one thing is another thing number 2 it equates those two things not because because they actually are uh, the same but for the uh, sake of uh, comparison or symbolism number 3 if you take a metaphor literally it will probably sound very strange and number 4 and last metaphor used in poetry literature and any time someone wants to add some color to their language metaphor are from the figurative language which refers to uh, words or expressions that means something different from their literally me literal meaning or definition in the case of metaphor the literal imp impression uh, would uh, often be pretty silly for example imagine what these like if you took them at the face value metaphor shows uh, up to uh, up in literature poetry music and writing but also in speech metaphor can make your words come from uh, come to the life often you can use a metaphor to make your subject more relatable to the reader or to make a complex thought um, easier to understand they can also be tremendous help Uh, when you want to uh, enhance your writing with imagery as a common figure of a speech metaphor turn up everywhere from novels and uh, films to uh, presidential speeches and in popular songs when they are especially good they uh, hard to miss take uh, these famous metaphor examples now i am giving you the examples of uh, famous metaphors uh, metaphors all the word number 1 is all the world is a stage 
and all the men are and women merely players they have their exist and their uh, entrance that is uh, said by william shakespeare number 2 is one more uh, uh, well known metaphor is america has tossed his cap over the wall of space this is said by john f kennedy number 3 uh, chaus is friends of mine this is uh, tell told by bob dylan and last uh, i want to give you the example a good conscience is a continual christmas benjamin franklin this now this is the what we call a metaphor now we come to the uh, other figure of speech that is simile a simile is a figure of speech that directly compares two unlike things to make the comparison simile most often use uh, the connecting words like or as but can also use other words that indicate an explicit comparison elinor roosevelt line a woman is like tea bag this is strange he said a woman is like tea bag you never know how strong she is until she gets is in hot water is an example of simile roosevelt compares two unlike things women and tea bags to describe how women reveal the full extent of their strength in the tough situations technically simile is a noun a word or phrase that compares something else using the words like or as for example face like mask or white as snow and now we come we must know about the difference between the simile and metaphor many people have trouble distinguishing between simile and metaphor at a glance uh, at their latin and greek roots offers a uh, simple way of telling these two closely related figures of speech apart simile comes from the latin word similis meaning similar or like which seems fitting since the uh, comparisons indicated by a simile will typically contain the word words as or like metaphor on the other hand hand comes from the greek word metaphorein the word metaphorein that is greek word metaphorein which means to transfer which is also fitting since a metaphor is used in place of something if for example my love is like red rose is a simile and love is a rose is a metaphor thank you thank you so much